Hi! In this video, we'll show you how to render your SketchUp project as a fully animated camera scene. Our plugin is designed to work with SketchUp 2017 and V-Ray 3.4 or higher. As you can see, in the current project, we have three pages. All of them will be rendered as a single camera animation shot. At first, you'll need to prepare your scene for rendering on the farm. So go to View, Animations, and then the Settings menu. Next, make sure that Enable Scene Transitions is on. Now, you'll need to set the transition time to the desired value. SketchUp operates on seconds, not frames. The default settings for V-Ray 3.4 and higher is 30 frames per second. Setting the scene transition to 1 will render the current project to 60 frames. Zero start frame will be set to the View 1 page. Frame 30 will be set to the View 2 page. And the ending frame, 60, at the View 3 page. If you want to increase the number of frames to make your animation more smooth, just increase the scene transitions time. Increasing the transition time to 2 seconds will double your frame range. This setting is crucial for animated page rendering, so it needs to be configured this way. Otherwise, it will be impossible to render all three pages as an animated shot. Next, close the animation settings and open the V-Ray rendering setup window. Here you can configure your desired resolution and aspect ratio. Next. Check your animation settings. As we are rendering a fully animated page sequence, the animation switch should be on. It's also very important to set the time segment setting to the entire animation mode. Without it, V-Ray won't be able to export the selected pages as fully animated sequences. Next, configure your output setup. Just open the Saving dialog box and set the output path to your local directory. Here, you should also set the output file name and output format. The next step is GI Setup. Our software takes care of GI caching, but if you have your own pre-cached GI maps, just switch mode to From File and connect the Irradiance map file. Otherwise, please leave the GI Setup with the default single frame mode. If you need additional render layers for compositing, you can add them in the Render Elements box. Just roll down the menu and add all the desired additional render outputs. All of them will be rendered along with the main output. You can add as many render elements as you want. Next, you'll need to check your sRGB output setting. To do that, just click on Frame Buffer and check the highlighted switch. It's crucial to render the scene with the same sRGB setup as you have on your local machine. Otherwise, your render will be too dark. By default, the sRGB switch is always on. You can set sRGB on or off later after uploading the scene. After the complete scene setup, just save your file. Next, run Render Beamer from the Extensions menu. You will now see the main plugin setup window. In the selected mode box, choose Page Animation. This mode is designed to render selected pages as an animated sequence. The Page Animation mode creates two jobs GI Caching and Render. The GI Caching job will create a lighting map which is used by the render job. The render job calculates the frames. Each render node will get one frame to render. To continue, just select the first and last page which you want to render. In this example, we'll set the start page to view 1 and the ending page to view 3. Another setting is the baking step. Here you can set the frame step for GI caching. The main rule is that if camera angles are changing fast, you should decrease the baking step parameter to 5. By default, the baking step is set to 10 and it works for most scenes without any issue. The baking step works with store direct light. This is an advanced setting which works as a separator for irradiance map and light cache files. When it's on, the light cache is stored inside the irradiance map. When it's off, 
the Radiance map and Light Cache are cached as separate files. By default, it's always on, so we recommend to leave it. After preparing the render setup, just click Send to Farm. At this point, V-Ray will start preparing the scene for export. Depending on project size, the number of used objects, lights, and textures, this process can take a minute or longer. Please don't do any SketchUp operations while V-Ray is preparing the scene. SketchUp may look like it's hanged, but it works on scene export in the background. After completing the scene preparation, all of the data is redirected to Render Beamer. Render Beamer takes care of all upload and download processes. Now you'll need to wait for the upload process to complete. Depending on your internet speed connection and the number of files to upload, the whole process can take a while to complete. Once the upload process is done, Render Beamer will show up with a window providing you with a direct link to your scene on your Web Manager account. Just click the link to continue. Next, log in with your user ID and password and check the job submission window. Here you can review your scene setup before adding it to the render queue. Please remember about the sRGB switch, as this is the last place where you can change the setting before adding the scene to render. To proceed, just click on the submit button. Now your scene will be added to the farm render queue. After adding the scene to render, you will be automatically redirected to your jobs panel. Here you can see the real-time progress of rendering. As you see, there are two jobs, GI Bake and Render. Those two jobs are working in conjunction, so each of them needs to be done before you can download the frames. Now you will have to wait a couple of minutes to complete the rendering process. After the render is complete, you can go back to your Render Beamer and download the frames. To do that, just switch to the Download tab, hit the Refresh List button, and use the download option. After completing the download process, you can use Open Directory and check your output. As you can see, we have all frames rendered and saved along with the render elements. To check the render, just open the first frame and scroll with the arrow key. If everything is fine and you're happy with your main output and render elements, you can continue with your next project. That's it. Thank you and happy rendering.